Welcome to my two Satoshis. I'm your host, Chris. This channel is basically set up for people who might be new to the crypto space, kind of onboarding you to the process and kind of taking you through the process, what I've learned and teaching you, you know, different aspects of the space and just kind of being a guide for you guys. Now, MetaMask, well, let me start this way. Most people start with platforms like Coinbase, Robinhood, and things of that nature, and that's absolutely fine. The difference is a platform like Robinhood is just for trading. You really can't send and receive your assets from Robinhood. But a platform like Coinbase, you are able to buy and sell using your buy with your credit card, and you're able to sell back to the platform and you're able to send and receive. With Coinbase, this is what we call a centralized exchange, meaning that you do not hold the keys to your crypto. Now, some might say that's good, some might say that's bad, but this is neither here nor there for this particular video. An exchange is exactly what it sounds like. It's an exchange. You can Use your fiat currency, your dollars. You can input it from your credit card or from your bank, and you can literally buy whatever crypto you want. There are other platforms like Gemini that you can also do the same thing, which is preferred by a lot of people. But this is just an exchange. It's not really meant for you to hold your coins on that platform unless you're incentivized to do so. Some people will still say at that point, you don't need to do it, but just giving you guys the information. Now, there is a, another type of exchange, which is called a decentralized exchange. In these exchanges, you don't have to do KYC, uh, which is know your customer, where you send in your, your, your picture, your, your bank information, and all those type of things. As you see regulations coming down, that they want to kind of limit this and shut this down. But the centralized exchange, exchanges, they kind of find more in their control, so they uh, kind of allow those. But you will see that QuickSwap, which is on the Polygon Matic network, Uniswap, which is on the Ethereum network, and then you have another exchange like Trader Joe, which is on the Ele Ava Avalanche network, and you have a Spooky Swap, which is on the Phantom network. Now, you can purchase these coins like Phantom, Matic, Avalanche, Ethereum. You can purchase those from an exchange like this, a centralized exchange. That will give you your gateway to be able to maneuver on these different platforms and utilize the different tools and things of that nature that they might have to offer, whether or not it's buying NFTs, playing games, or whatever you might find interesting that you might want to, to do. Now, in order to actually connect with some of these decentralized exchanges, you're gonna need a Web3 wallet like MetaMask. If you come to metamask.io, you can download the Chrome extension to your desktop. Simply go ahead and install MetaMask It'll bring you up to a website like this, and you can install install from install the Chrome. It's gonna go through the process. And then what you're gonna where you're gonna see it at, well, you're gonna go through the process and make sure you write down your 12-word seed phrase. Don't screenshot it. That's very important. You're gonna see hear a lot of people saying, quote unquote, they lost it, they gave someone their keys or access to their wallet. And that's because they give them that seed phrase. So you write that down, put it in a safe place so that you can always refer back to it because there will come times. Like for instance, if I were remove this from Chrome right now, I would have to go back through the process and put my seed phrase back in. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it's too much. It'll make this video too long. But anyway, you write down that seed phrase and go ahead and go through the rest of the process and name it create a password and all that good stuff. And then you'll come to the very top right-hand corner up here where it says extensions. 
And as you see this white area right here, looks like a little puzzle piece. You click that and then you can pin. I'm not sure if you can see that. I just unpinned mine. But when you come up here and you click it and pin it, it will then show up in this little bar area over here, up here. I'm going to move mine over. I just like to do that. And now when you open up your MetaMask wallet, you don't, you want, you'll be on the Ethereum mainnet and you will not have any other chains except maybe like a couple to interact with so that you can interact with other platforms. Now, what you're going to want to do at that point, let's say you know that you know that you're going to want to go into the Polygon Matic network. You would go to a website like chainlist.org. Chainlist.org. It's going to look like this. Okay. You're going to want to come up here and click this button that says connect wallet. It's going to bring up your MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, I have two different accounts. But what I'll do is I'll just connect to that one account. I'll click a next, click kick connect. And now I'm connected to the platform. That is what we mean by Web3 wallets, which is different than Web2 with, you know, you can go to some, a lot of these platforms and you enter in your login information. This is your way of logging into these type of websites. That's the simplest way for me to explain it to you. Connecting, logging in, same thing. Otherwise, you will not be interacting. You can type and do it, you know, move around the platform, but as far as interacting and doing things with it, that's your key. That's what MetaMask is for. I'm going to give you another example. Let's say I come to Spooky Swap. Um, this one is on the Phantom Network. Now, I already have that network connected to this wallet, so I would come down, select Phantom, right? It's going to switch over to that network. Now, when I connect my wallet, you see up here in the top right-hand corner, when I connect to that wallet, it gives me several different wallets I can choose from, but I'm just using MetaMask right now so that we can make it simple. And if you want to start playing with other wallets like your trust, your trust wallet, your Coinbase wallet, keep that in mind, or any other wallet, then you can. But for MetaMask, and now I'm connected to the platform. It can now read the assets that is, that is in my MetaMask wallet. I have a little bit of Phantom. And now, for this one, let me show you something else. Let's say you connect to the wallet and it, and, and you, you you can't figure out why well, I thought it was connected. You would, and you don't think that it's connected. You can come back to MetaMask, click it again. And right up under this symbol right here, there's three little dots. If you click that, it will show you um, the sites that you connected to. You can click that and then it will show you all the list of sites you connected to. For people who might been in the been in this space for a short period of time, you want to come back here and check this quite often because you can find yourself connected to 50 to 100 different accounts, sites like I was. And then you just go through and delete each one of them. Boom, connect, disconnect. And now you're not connected to that website anymore. This is important because sometimes these websites and platforms get hacked and all kind of funny nefarious things go on. And you don't want to necessarily just be connected at all time. But now if you look up here next to where it says account, you'll see that it says not connected. If you click that button now, now keep in mind, I have two different accounts, so I can switch between accounts or I can connect. Now you shouldn't have to do this, but because I have more than one account, when I click connect, it didn't know which account to connect to. So now it's connected to my primary account and it can start reading all the assets in my wallet. As you can see listed on your screen here, I don't have a lot. That's why I'm able to do this openly because if someone to, um, was able to hack or look at my look at my wallet address and want to do something slick, I wouldn't lose a lot. There's really nothing, not much in this, uh, my MetaMask that I'm using over here for this example. So now let's keep going. Now, so you've got your MetaMask downloaded, you've saved your seed phrase, and now you're able to connect to whatever site you want to connect to. Um, let me go ahead and connect to... Now, one more thing. As far as these decentralized exchanges go, 
Now, I did say that like Uniswap is on Ethereum. I said Trader Joe was on Avalanche. Quick Swap was on Polygon Matic. But a lot of these decentralized exchanges are trying to be what we call cross-chain, meaning that you can access more than one network with that exchange. So, like for instance, Uniswap, if you click this button up here that says Ethereum, you can see that now they've added different chains or different networks. Now you can also use Polygon, Optimism, or Arbitrum. Let's come over here to Quick Swap. Let me go ahead and switch to Matic because I'm connected to them. I'm on the Ethereum network. So when I click switch to Matic, it's going to say allow this site to switch the network for you. So I can switch the network. And now it's going to switch it over to Polygon. Let me go ahead and connect because it's connected to the wrong account. So I'll connect it. And now this particular website can read my Polygon Matic assets. Now, there is another one called SushiSwap. SushiSwap has different chains you connect to. Now, understand something. All these different exchanges, don't get confused. There's a, a lot of different exchanges. If you look at um, different um, ecosystem charts, you can see a lot of different exchanges that you can choose from. It just depends on which one you like, which one you prefer to use. Some people don't use this one. Some people like the other one. You know, everyone has preferences. So SushiSwap is cross-chain. As you can see, let me show you again. I'm already connected, but it's still connecting to the other account. So I want to connect to my primary account. And if you're wondering how I'm, I'm cre creating these accounts, I can definitely go through and show you how to do that. But for this simple tutorial, I'm just going to focus on this one primary account. Now I'm connected. Now you see where it says Polygon Matic up here? If you click that, you can see I have access to all these other networks, Ethereum, Phantom, BSC, Harmony, Moon River, Fuse, Avalanche, XDAI. I can get to, I can exchange assets from, on, on, from any one of those networks. Now let's go back. Let's go back. We're going back to chain list. This, this is so that you can add different networks to your MetaMask. As you remember, I connected earlier, so I'm connected now. So let's say I wanted to connect to, I want to add Polygon, if I can spell, to my MetaMask. Now I'm adding Polygon. You see right here, it says Polygon Mainnet. Do not add the testnet. Click any chain that you're doing, unless you got something going on that you're trying to do, like um, test the network out, or there's a new something, or um, something's in beta, and you're you're signed up to go in and test it out for them, then that's when you want to use the test net. Other than that, don't add the test net because you'll confuse yourself. Just add the main net. You click add to MetaMask, and because I already have it added, it's probably not going to do it. Let me choose something like something I don't. Let's. I'm just. I'm just going to choose Ubik, even though I don't want to do anything with Ubik. Now it brings it up, and it says allow this site to add a network, and you're going to approve that. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll be right back with a part two, and we'll pick up from here. And we'll keep going, okay? My two satoshis. If you like this type of content, hit that like button, that share, that subscribe, and we'll be right back, okay? We're out. Lately I've been losing my direction. I know, I know, I know. Cause I've been trapped inside this heart of mine. Stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole. Remember. <laughs>